Over the past three years, Tony Khan has brought in lots of ex-WWE stars and only a few of them have been able to accomplish significant feats in AEW. Sadly, Soraya is not one of them. Soraya, formerly known as Paige, came in hot, but with every passing week, her stock in the company went down drastically. Even her crowning moment at Wembley Stadium didn't help that much either. The general feeling was that Soraya could have set the women's division on the right track. So how did things go so wrong? Why did Soraya fail? And how can Mercedes Monet now do what Soraya couldn't? Let's take a closer look at why Soraya wasn't the saviour of the AEW women's division. After becoming the first ever NXT women's champion and having a solid run in NXT, Soraya, or Paige in this instance, made her main roster debut on the night after WrestleMania 30 in the most explosive way possible. She was still the NXT women's champion when she defeated AJ Lee to become the Divas champion as well. The crowd went nuts and many thought that Paige would be leading the division to the heights it should have seen many years ago. As it was still Vince's era, the creative failed to build Paige as a credible champion as her title reign suffered from a lack of strong opponents and storylines. A double turn occurred when AJ Lee returned after a couple of months to take her Divas Championship back, turning Paige heel in the process. After another short reign with the Divas Championship, Paige failed to accomplish anything significant in the company. Don't get me wrong, she was one of the women who played a significant part of the women's evolution in the WWE in the mid-2010s. However, it was clear that the company wanted to position stars like Charlotte Flair at the top of the women's division. Paige spent most of 2015 feuding with Nikki Bella. Do you lot remember that? Because me neither. Things went extremely south for Paige when she took a hiatus from the company due to a neck injury in 2016. That very same year, Paige was suspended twice for violating the company's wellness policy. She had a neck injury towards the end of that year and returned to television in late 2017. If it wasn't bad already, Paige suffered another terrible neck injury when she took a kick from Sasha Banks at a house show. The injury was so devastating that she sadly had to retire from in-ring competition on the night after WrestleMania 2018. Fans genuinely felt bad for Paige as she had all the talent in the world to be the best female wrestler on the planet at that time. But I guess the glimmer of hope at that time was that she was still pretty young. Paige chose to stick around as she was named the general manager of SmackDown, but later left the company in 2022. With her exit and rumours swirling that it was WWE's doctors refusing to clear her for in-ring competition, it was a matter of time before she was going to show up at the noisy neighbours to have a go at making that in-ring return she desperately wanted. That same year, 2022, Soraya made her AEW debut on the Grand Slam edition of Dynamite and the crowd was on fire. Coming out to a great theme song, Soraya never looked better. She took to the mic to address the ruckus audience in what turned out to be a bit of a shaky first promo. She took shots at WWE, which at the time seemed to be the in thing to do for talents defecting from WWE to AEW, and also had jibes thrown at Britt Baker, who at the time was the biggest star of the AEW women's division. Soraya definitely had a mountain to climb in AEW. Now, quite possibly, the biggest positive in my eyes has to be the fact that Soraya's debut lifted spirits for AEW fans after the incident between CM Punk and The Elite at All Out 2022. While the effects of that incident lasted for months, this was something that excited fans and because of her name value made fans believe that there would be more of a concentrated effort on the women's division. The other positive, well, at least in Soraya's case, has to be her in-ring return. Coming out of a severe neck injury isn't child's play. Soraya getting to wrestle again was a feel-good moment. Plus, Soraya getting to win the AEW Women's World Championship in her home country at Wembley Stadium? Massive. But unfortunately, the negatives are more glaring than the positives. One of the biggest downsides to Soraya joining the alternative has to be the same thing that the other female talents have suffered from as well, and that's the poor booking. Soraya's return to pro wrestling should have been more about being a better worker than the rest, rather than taking shots at WWE and convincing others that there was a revolution coming in the women's division. There wasn't any revolution, as fans didn't care about Soraya's work, in ring, character development, or storytelling. No matter how you want to slice it, fans just didn't care. 
One of the storylines she was part of that had massive potential was when the outcasts were feuding with the homegrown talent. Unfortunately, Tony Khan dropped the ball with this one, but I will cut him some slack as it seemed like key injuries to maybe a Mercedes Monet brought this story to a screeching halt. Things should have improved when she got involved in the Chris Jericho and Adam Cole storyline, but that ended up being one of the worst storylines AEW did in all of 2023. Soraya also suffered from the fact that there were better workers than her in the form of stars like Hikaru Shida and Jamie Hayter. Hell, even Tony Storm ended up having a better gimmick than Soraya. Tony Khan wanted to improve the women's division in 2022. That's what he wanted to do when he signed Soraya that year. But not giving the focus the division sorely needed is the reason why Soraya and others suffered from poor storylines. Tony Khan told Alex McCarthy of Inside the Ropes, we were very interested to have her in AEW and she was very optimistic she could get all the clearances and really gave me her word that she was going to be good to go. To me, I didn't want to push her. I thought it was going to be great to have Soraya in AEW. Look, if she'd come back and said, I want to be here, I'm not sure I can wrestle with my injuries, I also would have said, this is still a great home for you. I think we'd have loved to have a star like Soraya as part of our wrestling company, a big wrestling star like you, even if you can't get in the ring. It's fair to say TK has probably learned from this lesson and now that the baton is seemingly being passed over to Mercedes Monet to lead the way, things will be different. We all know when Mercedes walked out of WWE, it was not because of money reasons. She walked out on the company because she wanted better for the entire women's division. She is one of those rare female talents who isn't afraid of speaking up about bad booking. Unlike current day Soraya, Mercedes is an excellent in-ring performer and she brings out the best in everyone. She was an NXT Women's Champion, a seven-time WWE Women's Champion, a three-time WWE Women's Tag Team Champion, an IWGP Women's Champion, and was set to win the New Japan Pro Wrestling Women's Strong title before injury struck. She has a much bigger fan following than Soraya. Her debut at Wrestle Kingdom 17 brought in an incredible 40,000 new subscriptions to the New Japan Pro Wrestling World streaming service. Mercedes will be a game changer in AEW and I hope things get better for the women's division as AEW has some of the best female wrestlers in the world. Mercedes will demand nothing but the best for women and we have already started seeing that as she got the CM Punk first dance type rollout in the shape of AEW Big Business. She has said that a global evolution and financial parity with male talents are some of the things she wants to aim to achieve and with a clean bill of health and access to most women's locker rooms around the world, the CEO and saviour of AEW's women's division is ready and open for business. Do you think Mercedes Monet can achieve what Soraya couldn't? Share your thoughts in the comments below, like the video if you liked it, subscribe for more and if you want to hear my thoughts on Tiffany Stratton making her way out of NXT and becoming one of the big women's talents in WWE, click the video on screen now.